We're going to talk about how to get your tank to survive an extended power outage. Hey guys, Devin with Reef Dudes. Now, the last little while there's been all kinds of crazy stuff going on with Mother Nature. There's storms, hurricanes, floods, fires, and extended power outage is something that's a very real reality for a lot of us. And that can be severely detrimental to your reef tank in your aquarium. So today I want to give a couple of quick tips of how to survive an extended power outage. Now, yesterday I read an article on Jake Adams Reef Builders, and one of his big points was cleaning all of your equipment to make sure it starts back up properly. Now that was actually great because it reminded me I'm way overdue to clean my equipment. So for starters, the whole point of this, um, if your pumps are covered in coralline and algae, they may have issues starting up when the power comes back on. So what I do to clean all my equipment is I use a vinegar bath. I find vinegar is one of the quickest and easiest ways to clean your equipment. You let it soak in the bucket for an hour or two. This is a mix of vinegar and water. It's probably about half and half, but the ratio is pretty flexible. And if you looked at some of these pumps earlier, it was covered in like blue-green coralline algae. Uh, once you dip it in there for an hour or two, you can literally just wipe it off with some paper towels. So it's extremely easy to clean that way. Now that's a tip for helping your equipment restart. Now what do you do when you have no power? Now the biggest thing that's going to hurt your fish or kill stuff in your tank is a lack of oxygen. So one of the quickest and easiest ways are these little battery operated air pumps. So you can get these things for about 10-12 bucks off Amazon and if you're in need, I mean I'm sure you got Amazon Prime. But they basically take a couple of either C or D batteries and there's a little air stone comes with airlines. So all you need is to stock up on batteries, one of these, to help oxygenate your water. Now that works great for a while, it will do that. But in my opinion, one of the best things you can do is have your wave makers on a battery backup. So I currently have two MP40s in my tank and both of them are hooked up to a giant battery backup. And if you haven't seen that video, um, I'll link that at the end. I have an APC UPS that runs my Apex and a couple other devices, and behind here is a giant battery, and that's hooked up to just my MP40. So that will keep flow going in my tank for probably a good week. Now, a lot of those are pretty easy to build. Um, I did do a video on a while ago. I mean, with a 12 volt battery, you can DIY one pretty easily. So I'll put a link to that at the end of this video. Um, as for the battery operated air pumps, Amazon's really your best source for those or you can DIY one yourself if you can go pick up a deep cycle battery and get that baby running for weeks. But So a couple things, checklist. Uh, running low on oxygen is the biggest thing that's gonna kill things in your tank. So look at either A, getting some battery operated air pumps. Um, there's also some cool ones that can automatically kick the battery when power is lost. You plug it in and that diffuses the sensor. Um, and the other biggest thing I would say is getting a battery backup for your power heads to make sure there's flow. Your corals need that flow and movement to breathe because that's how they get oxygen to them. It's going to go a long way for saving your tank. So this is just a few quick tips as I'm out there. Um, I, had not, I haven't been affected personally yet, but there's been fires that were, you know, 10 minute drive from my house and I know they cut off power up to that region for almost a week when they were fighting them just to the danger of it. So that alone, see, luckily I've been safe, but battery backups can be a huge saver in keeping your tank safe. So hopefully these guys helped. Um, I'll find a couple Amazon links and I'll put them in the description below. I'll also throw an article to Jake's, a link to Jake's article if you guys want to check it out. And so hopefully everyone's tank and everyone is doing okay through all the madness lately. And on a cheerier note, if you guys haven't done so yet, make sure you get the entry in for the scammer because I'm guessing it's probably on a week, week and a half until we hit 3K and we'll do that draw. All right guys, have a great day and happy Thursday.